Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Tuesday, March 23rd. It might be challenged in court or even repealed, but health care reform today became law. President Obama signed it at the White House, calling it a new season in America. The bill I'm signing will set in motion reforms that generations of Americans have fought for and marched for and hungered to see. It'll take four years to implement fully many of these reforms because we need to implement them responsibly. We need to get this right. But a host of desperately needed reforms will take effect right away. This year. Is the health reform legislation unconstitutional? Attorneys general from at least 14 states claim it is. Moments after the measure was signed into law, they filed suit against the so-called individual mandate clause, claiming the Constitution gives the government no right to mandate citizens to get health insurance. Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner was back in front of the House Financial Services Committee today. He called for an overhaul in the government's involvement in the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac mortgage agencies. In fact, he said the whole system of federal guarantees for housing finance needs a makeover. And in France, the government scrapped plans to put a tax on carbon emissions. The tax was part of President Nicolas Sarkozy's environmental policy. Opponents said the tax would put French companies at a disadvantage to others in el elsewhere in Europe. Sarkozy's government suffered losses in recent elections as well, and opponents say there was little chance that tax could now be enacted. That's your political roundup for Tuesday, March 23rd. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTNews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.